my review that I'm going to be doing is about the Icon IR by American DJ. It's got a 60 watt bulb. I've got it attached with a global truss. It's a small truss, I mean a small clamp, so it's really convenient. It's not big and bulky like the old pro clamps right here. And this is again my global truss. This is all global trussing. It's F34. It's got a nice bracket here to attach it to so you can squibble it, you know, to get the angle you need. As you can see, it's American DJ Icon IR. And this lens right here, see if you can see it, is a 25 degree lens. And you can focus it right here just by turning it to get the, the image that you're going to shoot on the floor really crisp, crisp and clean. And the one thing I want to show you is if you open this up right here, and this is really simple because that little springs, you won't lose the screws when you open it up, they won't fall out on you. Man, this is so much easier than a Source 4. I just really like this. You don't have to worry about bending the patterns and the gobos slipping out of them or, you know, just, and they're heavy. And I've been waiting for something like this. They got like a little magnifier lens here. That's the gobo inside there that I made. And I made that with two transparencies, thanks to my buddy DJ Matt Guns and also Mikey Mike. Uh, as you can see, I got Josh and Amanda the date. And what I did was I took two gobos, I laser printed them for the best results. Lasers seem to do the best. I put one on top of the other. I made four little dots on the outside edges so that I could line it up. After I lined it up, I took tape, gaff tape, put it around the area that would not show through the gobo so you won't see that. And now I want to show you the difference from when I showed you yesterday. You will no longer see the ghosting. <laughs> and I made these gobos in Photoshop and seriously guys, once you learn how to do it, it's very simple. It will take you about five minutes. And I also will be doing a tutorial on how to make these gobos. So on the back, you have a dimmer switch. And then right here, you have a rotation switch. And what I've heard some people say on the older ones, sometimes when you put it where you thought the center, the gobo would still turn a little bit. This one has like a little bit of a stopping point. So it doesn't happen. Now, what I'm going to do is, it's got, oh, by the way, it's got a big fan right here. These do not get hot. You can use these over and over again. Watch, I'm going to show you. I'm going to run this thing for about seven hours tonight. And I'm going to pull it out and show you what it looks like after I'm done tonight. Okay, I'm going to turn on the dimmer switch to show you the gobo. The bride requested that I have it turning. As you can tell, there is no ghosting whatsoever around this gobo. And when I say ghosting, you don't have any of the white circle going around it anymore because of the way that I made it. Now, look how clean and crisp and bright and clear that is. That's a 60 watt bowl. You cannot beat that. The quality of this gobo is outstanding. It will save you a lot of money. The, the price point on this for me to make this gobo probably cost me about 50 cents or less. Um, you know, instead of paying $70 a gobo, that's still gobo. This, this is great. Um, the other thing that I want to point out is, again, is right here you have a focus. You know, and you can see how, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's getting really blurry. And you can, you can focus it down to where it's real clear, you know, to make it really pop. Uh, the other thing I want to point out is, Again, it's just, it's just hooked to my totem with all my other American DJ lights. Uh, great light, can't see enough about it. Again, it's a 25 degree beam. It also ha it comes with one that's like a 30 something degree beam and another one that's 40 something degree beam. So depending on the distance that you're gonna throw it will be the size that you want the gobo to be. I wanted it to kind of be small and fit this walkway right here because this is just a walkway in front of the stage. Just think of the profit you can make with this light. You know, I used to have to charge my customers $250 with a Source 4 because the Gobos, you know, they're, by the time you order them and ship them, they're like 80 something bucks. Uh, with this light, I'm gonna be able to rent this light out for like 150 bucks and, you know, still make a really good profit for my time of having to make the Gobo and, you know, set it up and, and owning the product. But again, I hope you can see the value in having something like this. As you can tell, I got it rotating at the bride's request. You can make it stationary or you can have it turn left, right. Way 
Pretty cool. Getting a lot of compliments on this. Right, as you can see, it's still running. It is 11.35 and it's been running since about four o'clock. We're gonna open this up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dim it down. Give it a second, fix it go down. All right, now I'm gonna open the side of this up and I'm gonna show y'all just exactly how hot this got. So I'm gonna open this up after it's been running for, how many hours is that now, babe? Say from four to, it's been running seven and a half hours. As you can see, it has not melted whatsoever. It's cold to, well, not cold, but it's not hot. Uh, it lasted all night long, guys. And actually, I could use that over and over again. No problem. So there you go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back in here. You know, it's really that simple. And uh, I cannot tell y'all how many compliments I got off this Govo tonight. I mean, people were just like really blown away with it, thought it was really cool. The bride really liked the fact that it turned. I normally leave them stationary, but you know, not everybody likes that. So it looked pretty sharp turning. But anyway, there you go, all night long. No problems. Worked like a champ. Peace.